Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to my channel. Procurement is about buying the things that you need to run a business. Of course, that means buying the right stuff in the right quantity and getting the best deal. But that can be a lot more complicated than many people realize. In this video, we'll look at how procurement works. Let's begin. Organizations are structures and some of the unit terms that procurement professionals use. The head of the procurement organizations is the chef purchasing officer. Under the CPO, there could be directors and managers who specialize in purchasing different kinds of things. For example, many companies make a separate between the things that they buy to put into a product and the things that they need to run the business. The things that go into the products are called direct material. For example, if you are a car manufacturer, the metal glass and plastic you buy are all direct materials. Then, there are all the other things that you need to run a business. is the indirect material. In a car factory, their indirect material would include things like tools, brooms, and paper towel. You often find different teams managing the direct and indirect procurement functions. The things that you buy often are called commodities, and commodities can be organized into categories or segments. Within each category, purchasing analysts can study trends and anticipate potential shortages. Another important role in the procurement are the buyer. The buyer interact directly with your suppliers and they manage those relationships. They get permissions from your company to buy some things by having a requisition approved. And then they tell your supplier to ship the products by sending them a purchase order or a PO. There are also supplier quality professionals who ensure that the material you are receiving meet your standard. It is also important for purchasing to align with the value of your company. Many companies have commitments to buy from small businesses, from diverse companies, from companies that commit to treating their worker well, and from companies that operate in a responsible way. The people in charge of meeting this goal could have titles like Supplier Development, Supplier Diversity, and Supply Chain Sustainability. When companies use an analytical approach to manage their procurement process, this is often called strategic sourcing. If you want a more detailed video explaining of strategic sourcing, subscribe to my channel and click the notifications button to be notified when my weekly video is available. Okay? Procurement is a link that connects your company to your supplier. Learning the language of procurement can help you ensure that your sources of supply meet the company's short term and long term needs and support the needs of the entire supply chain. Well, do you know how the procurement organizations in your workplace is structured? Does your organization use any strategy sourcing approach? Go and check this out. Okay, that's the end of my sharing in today's video. My name is Vivian and I appreciate you guys and also liking my channels. Have a great day and I see you in my next video.